Ignitio, great to be here at the Beam Show. Uh, we've done a lot with you guys recently yes, at Barmy. In fact, we were at the factory just just a few uh, you yeah. know a, a few weeks ago. Um, we're looking here at the uh, the T series, the Gen yeah. Two machine that you're exhibiting. Tell us about this machine and why you bought this to the show. Okay, well, this is a THR16 multi-process. It's generation two. That's what we want to show here. We've improved the machine. We've made it faster, more accurate, more dynamic, and that's what we wanted to show to the customers coming to the Bilbao exhibition. It's pretty big. How long did it take you to get it, get it in here? Well, it took a while. It took a while. That's one of the of the most challenging things about these machines. Transport is always a bit complex, for sure. And guess what? If you like what you see today, this machine is actually available for sale from stock, which is quite unusual for a machine of, yes. the, of this nature, which you'll see in a minute. Yeah. Um, Normally, what, six, seven, eight months? Yeah, from six to eight months to make the machine. Then it's quite a quick installation. It takes about a couple of weeks to transport it in Europe and then two, two three weeks to install it. Okay, let's go. Let's uh, come up here. Ignacio, if you stand uh, here, we're going to get the cam into the machine as well. We can see it. Can, maybe can you explain the, 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 yeah, the multi-purpose or the yeah. multi-process uh, yeah. element of the okay. machine? It's a very straightforward working area. What you have here is an A-axis head that is driven by a torque motor giving you full five axis capacity. It actually has a 12,000 RPM HSK 100 spindle with a lot of power. And then you've got a rotary table that it's one meter diameter. It can swing 1.6 meter diameter parts and it can make them spin up to 500 RPM. And we can handle quite heavy loads, up to six tons. Who's, where, where's your market though for this? I mean, I know we're looking at a part here which we'll, we'll talk about some of the, uh, the description of the application shortly, but yeah. who is it? Who, who are you offering these to? Who are buying them? Well, mainly we're looking at technologically advanced companies, you know, customers in the aerospace industry, the oil and gas industry, people machining high value components that are challenging, that need very few setups because of accuracy challenges, the shapes they need to, to machine. So that's the type of customers we're looking for. Um, this part, let's move back this way as well, Ignacio. If you come this way and still stand to my left, if you just come this way a little bit. So we're looking here then, really, this is the multi-process and this yeah. is what's happening in the application. Yeah. We just talk through the five areas. All right, okay. What we do at Ivarmia is, as, I, as we said, we do multitasking machines, which means mainly turning and milling in one machine in one setup. But not only that, we can also at power skiving capacity, you know, power skiving, gear hoving capacity. We can do interpolated turning to machine really strange shapes, complex shapes. We can do diamond burnishing that gives you an excellent finish surface on, on, on the parts. Five axis blade machining, obviously, and elliptical and eccentric turning that mainly just uses the advantages of the machine, the ability to move axis while you're turning. This interpolation turning here then, so you've got a yeah. tool that's actually turning in the... You can orientate the part, the, the tool, sorry, while you're moving around the part. That requires a lot of rigidity in the spindle and the tool and the whole setup. Where do you think your, this machine scores over others in the market from your, your opinion? Mainly, this machine is seen as a very powerful machine with, which can handle heavy loads and move fast. So it's a very efficient, very productive machine with a lot of power. Okay, what we're going to do is going to walk this way. Uh, one of your colleagues is uh, going to open the open the door for us. Christian's going to open the door. If he's going to stop the machine, if you come and stand this way as well, yeah. you know, sure. um, the the some of the areas you talk about at Barmy and, and, and we looked at on our uh, when we came to the factory, which the, yeah. the videos will be on the NTD CNC channel very soon, is shaping a solution for a yeah. company, which okay. includes some of the maybe technology cycles, which would do what we've just yes. discussed but also automation and things like that are important yeah, too. And also customizing the machine. Uh, we are a company, we're an engineering company. We, make, we have standard platforms, but we like to hear what the customer really needs. For example, in this type of machine, I don't know if I can open the door. Okay. I think running. he's just gonna move it back. In this type of machine, we can adapt the axis to, to specific needs. For example, we can make the vertical axis taller. A lot of people that are using the machine for turning operations, they need a lot of clearance so they, they, they can get in for ID turning. I guess in like a tools. casing or something. something exactly, like. exactly. Yeah. And those, those type of applications require a lot of vertical axis. Our competitors push the customer to a bigger size machine. What we do is we adapt this size to the specific need. Yeah. So we do a lot of that. And, and you can see in here, this A-axis head that you've got here, this is yeah. slightly different, different to a typical kind of five axis head, isn't it? What's the, what's the benefit of having an A axis versus maybe another style of configuration? We make this machine with two types of head. This one that you've just said, the A axis head, which can do negative angles, can do undercuts. 
and then the B-axis head that maintains the same tool center point when you move from vertical to horizontal. Each machine, each head has its advantages and disadvantages. It really depends on the application. As I said, on this one, you can do undercuts. Then we have the A-axis torque motor system that is really fast, it's really accurate, has a rotary scale right on the rotating shaft. It gives you direct measuring of where the tool is. And the tool clamping system is hydraulic, which means it's a set of discs. If you ever have a collision, you don't break anything. The discs would just slide. Uh, you don't break anything. As I say, you don't need to repair anything. You can just reference the head back to zero and keep working. It's okay, a huge that, time that, saver. That, yeah, and, and an expense, a huge expense as well. Exactly. We're going to get Christian to stop the machine so we can open the door here okay. because I want to... Uh, we, we, took, we, we mentioned uh, some of the, the additions that you can have on the machine and shaping uh, shaping a customer's solution. Automation is a part of that, isn't oh, it? Yes, and if I, sure. I was just moving the table back. If we open this door... Yeah, there you go. We can see right in the machine here. Yeah. Um, single pallet, but of course you could have a twin, you could have a pallet. You can have a twin pallet, you can have a pallet changer here. And you can also plug this machine to a Fastens pallet system, just the way it is right now. Fastens would just feed the pallets in here. One of the important things for this type of machine is the operator can walk into the working area. I was just thinking that. I mean, yeah. if the camera can see in here, the accessibility here is, is, is really great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you've got, I mean, you can come in with your crane, you can load the parts from the top, and then the operator can walk around it to fix the part. Yeah. Also, look at the cheap evacuation system. As I said, this machine is very powerful. You can remove a lot of material really fast, but as important as removing it is the capacity to flush it down. No point in the machine stopping because you've got too much swarf building. Exactly. Imagine being a, a, you know, away for the weekend. Your machine is to stop at three in the morning just because there's too many chips blocking the, the system. And also the, the coolant flood and the flood wash and everything is geared towards, I suppose, getting all that swarf out yeah. of the machine. Exactly. That's the, that's the purpose of that. Niagara Falls, is, that's how we call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and your control systems here yeah. and the spindle, they're two things I just want to pick on. Um, uh, the control here is a FANUC, but th there is, there is options with those two, isn't there? Yes, we can make machines with FANUC control, with Siemens and Heidenheim. Which it really depends on the customer. Most popular in Europe, I would say Heidenheim and Siemens. In the US, in Asia, FANUC. It really depends on the region. It really depends on, on the customer and the application. And tell me finally then about that spindle, about the power, about the speed, and about yeah. those points, because they're where you said to me before this interview, yeah. where you really do score as a business on these machines. Yeah, I mean, we make powerful machines. As, as you know, in, in this show, the Spanish builders, we usually favor power over speed, over high speed and we also make a powerful machine. The spindle we have is a Kessler spindle, can give you up to 84 kilowatts power, with high torque up to almost 500 newton meters, but then at the same time we can go up to 12,000 RPM, which means you can be machining hard materials like Inconel, Super Duplex, at low speed, but then you've got those 12,000 RPM to go really fast. Incredible. In the materials, yeah. Incredible. Been a good, good show for you this week? Yeah, it's been really interesting. We're having a lot of visitors from many countries and uh, very interesting projects, as I said, and now it's about to chase them, you know? Good stuff. If you're interested in this machine or anything similar to this that Abarmier supply, then don't forget, I said this earlier, this particular model, this particular machine is available here uh, or from stock here in Spain. Thank you very much, Ignacio. Thank you. Thank you.